According to a Polish geographical dictionary from 1882, already in 1631 there was a church and a Jewish synagogue in Ilya. The town was a property of the Marvelous family. Ilya had two main streets from the Lincoln village out from north to south and the market square and center set of the dam. The market would operate every Wednesday and there were shops and houses around the market square. The main street was called the third of Main Street, formerly Minsk, and the second street, Tachinovska. Another street was called Tatarska, where the citizens of Ilya would walk in the evening. The three synagogues were concentrated to the east of the market square, the Great Synagogue, and an additional synagogue for the time of the holidays. The third synagogue, the Stimbel, was used by Shabbat devotees. The only part of the town that it was a memorial to the victims of the national uprising of 1863. Ilya fought by his brigade, Zushka did his with his wife Dina Dina, and the family and friends of the whole war was second. From 1767 to 1831, Reverend Menasha of Ilya, Reverend Menasha of Poland. The student of the young women was the thinker and inventor of the foreigners of the Enlightenment movement. His seminars provided a book among the Jews, demanded a ban on unclutch marriage, and fought against faulty and illiteracy. Moved to Ilya in 1784, Reverend Menasha of Ilya founded the Torah Studies Center, which was the core of the Great Yeshiva in Ilya. Late 18th century, the Hasidism. The Shabbat movement, led by Rabbi Shneur Zalman of Lade, spread to Ilya with its principles of optimism and glad satisfaction. About 30 families from Ilya separated themselves from the rest of the families, who formed the Garden of Ilya and built an independent prayer house, Shtilo. Among the first immigrants to Israel from Shabbat movement was Rabbi Isaac Nebi Yosef and Rabbi Naftali Ben Yehuda. 1809, students of Rabbi Eliyahu of Vilna, the Gamma of Vilna. The first immigrant to Israel was Rabbi Ruben Zee. In Lag Baumer, eight families, 54 people, immigrated to Israel. This event, arising from purely religious motives, was called the Vision of Zion. A new wave of immigration to Israel arose in the late 19th century. The Bilo movement aimed at returning to the land of Israel and establishing the basics for independence. Among the immigrants, Rabbi Yochan Evans and his family, Rabbi Benjamin Broder and his family, and Rabbi Modern Hazar and his family. 1892, Mary Dissinger visits India. As the Barry Rothschild's messenger, Dissinger met with Rabbi Mohatna one of the owners of the Glasgow factory in Ilya, in order to receive guidance and access to setting up this factory to Israel for storing wines from 